Hello and welcome. We've got Psalm chapter 76 today. The victorious power of the God of Jacob for the choir director on stringed instruments, a Psalm of Asaph, a song. And I'm going to interject real quick before we get started. This Psalm teaches that God is willing to use his great power for his people. Some commentators have suggested that this Psalm was written to celebrate the destruction of Sennacherib's Assyrian army in 701 BC as well as the assassination of Sennacherib himself, seen in the book of 2 Kings and Isaiah. This psalm also includes future prophetic overtones when Jehovah will defeat his enemies and bring them into judgment. Okay, here we go. God is known in Judah. His name is great in Israel. His tabernacle is in Salem. His dwelling place also is in Zion. So it's likely that the tabernacle was brought to Salem, to the city of Zion, when David brought the Ark of the Covenant there in 2 Samuel chapter 6. It seems that Salem was the ancient name for Jerusalem, seen in Genesis chapter 14 and Hebrews chapter 7. The pilgrims, the Thanksgiving pilgrims, also loved this psalm, and it was from verse 2 that they derived the name of one of the very first settlements in the New World, Salem, Massachusetts. Unfortunately, they turn it from something holy into the witch hunt. All right, verse three. There he broke the flaming arrows, the shield and the sword and the weapons of war, Selah. You are resplendent, more majestic than the mountains of prey. The stout hearted were plundered. They sank into sleep and none of the warriors could use his hands. At your rebuke, O God of Jacob, both rider and horse were cast into a dead sleep. You, even you, are to be feared. And who may stand in your presence when once you are angry? You caused judgment to be heard from heaven. The earth feared and was still when God arose to judgment to save all the humble of the earth. Selah. For the wrath of man shall praise you. With a remnant of wrath, you will gird yourself. Make vows to the Lord your God and fulfill them. Let all who are around him bring gifts to him who is to be feared. He will cut off the spirit of princes. He is feared by the kings of the earth. Well, shorter chapter today, I invite you to stick around for prayer. Dear Jesus, we plead for you to be the dominant presence throughout our day today, ridding us of all evil, distraction, and temptation. Captivate every thought that we have to reflect your love and character. We celebrate your grace and goodness to us. We thank you that in Christ we have overcome the world, fulfilled the law, found justifying righteousness, have seen death swallowed up in victory, and received all we need for everything that you require of us. Our hearts sing for joy that you've conquered death and that everlasting glory and life awaits for us for all eternity where we will receive bodies that are incorruptible and indestructible. Praise you for this, Lord Jesus. Praise you that one day there will be no more pain and sorrow. Yet we need you in these days to endure the trials that lie ahead for us in this realm that's outside of heaven. We also want to thank you that you've promised to be with us, helping and enabling us by the power of your Holy Spirit to fulfill the Great Commission. Make us instruments for your gospel's sake, giving us courage to warn others about the terrible consequences of sin. As we go through your word daily, teach us all to rightly divide it and keep us from error, heresy, and false doctrine. Help us to only hear your voice through the words the authors of the Bible penned and eliminate any preconceived notions or ideas we would want to add to the final canon of scripture. Let your word ring loud and clear as the only source of truth to your name, resisting any false truths men today would claim as gospel. May we never look back at our former days of darkness, nor desire the sins that uh, pleasured us for a season. Help us to always remember your love for righteousness, holiness, and truth. Finally, Lord, help those in need that are with me right now. Needs of healing to, to sickness, aches of the body, and disease for us and loved ones, needs of financial peace and provision, needs of marital unity and harmony, needs of salvation for those close that are actually distant and lost, 
needs of self-control and patience, needs of trust and contentment, needs of protection from lusts and substances, needs of thick skin and armor for the attacks of the sons and daughters of Satan, needs of love for our enemies, and needs of boldness and courage to proclaim your name and truths with pride, confidence, and zeal. Keep us from worry, Lord. Fill us with joy and gladness, even amongst persecution, filling our souls with the song of redemption forevermore. To your name, O Lord, uh, excuse me, to your name alone, we give glory, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, Lord willing, I will be here tomorrow, and I hope you can join me. Have a great day today. God bless you.